Hi everybody, the Mature Simmer here. So welcome to another episode in the Non-Aviator Flight Sim series. So in this episode, it's going to be very simple. We're going to talk about getting your plane moving, which is called taxiing, and getting it over to the runway. I'm not going to talk about the logistics of how you would figure that out or what you would do. This is simply the mechanics of doing that step and moving your plane. So at this point, my plane is operating and it is running. If you have spawned somewhere other than the runway, if you've spawned at the runway, you don't need this video, so you can stop watching it, because uh, that's not what you're going to be doing, unless you just decide you want to leave the runway, because you can obviously taxi away from the runway as well. If you spawn onto something like this over here on a ramp, uh, you'd come into what's called a cold and a dark state in most cases, and if you need to know how to go work through getting your airplane running, you can go watch this video about cold and dark starting and just the general concepts of that. But basically, you know, my engines are running, things are operating, um, it's t good practice uh, if you're getting ready to go ahead and take off that you've checked your and you've got your flap configuration set appropriately for taking off. Usually that's the first level of flaps in most aircraft, but that can vary. Obviously depending on conditions that may change, but that gets again a lot more complicated than I'm trying to get in some of these basic videos for you here. Um, I think I've talked about in the past kind of having crash detection off and so forth. So if you've got someone like this sitting in front of you, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're able to go through them similarly. You know, if you had to turn and go through a building or something to get going, you can do that. You can also do pushback if you want. That varies by plane and varies by whether you have a, push a pushback utility that you're using or if you're just using standard Microsoft Flight Simulator pushback. I'm not necessarily planning on doing a video on pushback per se, uh, but if people feel they need something, I guess let me know. But usually that's that's pretty basic. You just need to you know, go to your menus and, and, and get that going if you need to. All you're basically looking at, think of it if you're driving a vehicle, driving a car, you know, how do you get going? You take the vehicle out of park and you apply some fuel through the accelerator basically you rev the engine a little bit and you get it moving. Similar concept in an aircraft. We have a parking brake on which we can see it's telling us here. We can also see that it's park brake pull you know is is on here so we disengage the parking brake that went away it pushed in and then I need to give it a little bit of fuel. So I'm going to do that. We can see the engine spinning up if I go down here to my throttles, that's what these are. You can see now, you know, I've got some power going on, and you basically need to apply enough power, and it will vary by plane, uh, but you need to apply enough power to, to begin moving. And so typically, so you can see we're starting to crawl a little bit. It's probably easier to see out the side window, so I'm going to apply a little bit more power. There we go. And then typically I, I'll, I'll back off the engine a little bit because you kind of need a little bit of oomph to get moving. And then you're using your rudder. So I have that on my Xbox controllers uh, mapped to the trigger buttons, the left and the right trigger. So, And that will turn appropriately. And you're typically trying to taxi it 30 knots or less is usually considered acceptable. It wouldn't be too too crazy for your passengers. And, um, you know, it would be something that, that kind of can be handled. And then, you know, you're figuring out where you're headed. so you're following the taxiways and usually you're going to see yellow lines like this. There are aids in Microsoft Flight Simulator that you could uh, turn on the taxi ribbon and it will kind of guide you where you need to go. I'm, pressing, I'm probably moving a little too quick and some of that is just you get used to the sensation of 
yeah I'm going I'm going fast some planes will have a ground speed indicator um, a lot don't and once again Microsoft Flight Simulator won't normally give you a problem you'll just um, you know you'll just realize well you know I'm going too fast or something what I suggest is find a frame of reference you're going to want to get familiar with with an aircraft uh, in all aspects so one of the other things you can do you know I, I did the video on pattern work that would be typically what you would you would start with I would suggest or at least you know start doing segments and I'm gonna have other videos coming out about the other pieces of flying so we're gonna have one about taking off we're gonna have one about climbing and have one about cruising and have one about descending and we're gonna have one about landing I'm gonna go outside the plane so you can see so you know you can see I'm I'm kind of right on the center line it's just because I know in the CJ4 where I need to be but that's the rudder on the back left right so you know if I go right it goes there if I go left it goes there you know and if you're looking at the wheel you'll also see that the wheel is is turning at that same point the taxi situation as I said is is pretty simple you just get yourself moving and then you f you head where you need to head and figuring out where you need to head is gonna be a different video but for this simple short piece here I'm going to go ahead and say I've given you enough to get going. So taxiing, super, super simple. Release your brake. Throttle up your engine. Try to keep things under 30. Sometimes you'll see something here or there will be something that says GS, which is usually ground speed. You know, there could be various things you're looking at. And then you're just basically trying to figure out where you need to go. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's giving you the simple, simple basics of taxiing. Oh, and you need to know where your brake is. I'm sorry. So you also should know where your brake is. So if you need to slow down, as you can see the plane kind of jerks a little bit when you apply it. Because you don't want to, you're not going to put on your parking brake. You, you just need to keep yourself slowed down if sometimes your engines are pushing a little too quickly. With that, I'm going to let you go. If you've enjoyed this but haven't dropped a like, please consider that. If you are not a subscriber, please consider that. Both are greatly appreciated. And I will see you next time.